Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG on using the Pantone color libraries in conjunction with Roland VersaWorks. If we open Roland VersaWorks and navigate to the top left hand corner of the screen, underneath the edit menu we can find the spot color settings. Within the spot color settings we can see that six of the Pantone libraries are in here. This shows us that if we use any of these Pantone libraries within our artwork, VersaWorks will recognize these libraries and make the necessary conversions to print as accurately as possible. Here you can see that I have imported a file into VersaWorks called Pantone Spots that's just eight colored squares filled with different colors from the Pantone solid coated library. If I open up the job settings for this file and navigate down to the file formats tab, underneath the spot colors box here we can see that VersaWorks has recognized the different Pantone colors that I used. We need to make sure that we select the convert spot colors bots so that VersaWorks will make the necessary conversions for these spot colors. If I select the details box here, we can go in to another level and look at these in a bit more detail. If I just expand these columns so that we can see what's going on. Here you can see underneath the spot color name that we have the Pantones with their references and the library that these came from. These all came from the solid coated library. The library output for this for each of the Pantones is given as an LAB value. Underneath the printer output we can see the CMYK output that will be printed in order to replicate that Pantone color. Now this may vary depending on your media type and quality settings. If we printed this file as it is, we can see that we would have six of these eight Pantone colors printing at 100% accuracy. If you notice here that there are two small exclamation mark symbols next to these two Pantone colors. This is a little warning that shows us that the color is out of gamut for that printer. So it's out of gamut that the printer can produce with the current media and print quality. Now we have the option to go back and change media or change print quality to see if we'll be able to bring that color within gamut. Or we can choose to edit the output color for this, these two selected colors. So from experience or from trial, you may know a better CMYK output for this Pantone on the selected media. In which case, you could edit the output color by entering a specific CMYK value. Likewise, sometimes you can get a better match from any of the colors that are out of gamut by using a different spot color library. For instance, maybe you have printed your Roland Color Systems library onto the same material with the same quality settings and have found a match that is um, accurate as far as you or your customer is concerned. You could then choose that color that matches the Pantone from a specific color name from the library and choose that color as your output instead. The delta E in this table is the distance or that that color has in terms of accuracy from the original. The higher the value, the lower the accuracy will be. Now, depending on who we talk to, 
anything from one up until five can sometimes be considered accurate or that your eye will not be able to tell the difference. So this blue Pantone here has a delta E of 4.5 which when printed could be within accuracy depending on who the viewer is. 9.2 may be a bit further out of gamut and therefore we may look to replace this colour or to choose a different colour to use in the first place. If we print it as it is, Mercerworks will choose the closest colour that it thinks possible. We also have the option to choose the matching method that Versaworks will use for the conversions. And that's it for how to use the Pantone Color Systems Library in conjunction with Roland Versaworks. Thank you.